So this will be a quick introduction of my Stream Deck setup for DCS. As you can see, I have two of the 15 standard versions, one on the left side and one on the right side, and then in the middle, it's the Stream Deck XL. But for the purposes of DCS, we're just gonna focus on the two on the left-hand side. So what I've initially set up to work with DCS is a main menu landing page. So if we zoom in, you can see I've created essentially icons for each aircraft that I have in my possession and well some icons for track IR, Helios and some other things. Selecting each one of the any one of these buttons will then bring up the aircraft specific profile on the XL. Do you need this? No. You'd probably get by with just the XL, but since I have the other boxes, it's nice to have. So let's zoom out a little bit and we'll see if we click on F18, what's gonna happen is we're gonna get all the sub pages I've designed for the F18. So you can see there's an aircraft specific menu, which is a main menu of sorts. A button will take us to the UFC options. This is for aircraft startup, shutdown, one for lights, uh, so on and so forth through a variety of profiles. And then what you can see is if we bring this back out again, selecting each one of these panels on the left will control what we see on the right. So this is the main menu page if you want of sorts. The F-18, I haven't really finished that yet. But on the UFC side, you can see we have a much more complete profile there. Uh, all the buttons you'd see and need. Engine shut up, uh, start up and shut down, same thing here. And what I've done for some of these switches is broken them out into separate positions. So for example, uh, left idle, right idle, left engine cutoff, right engine cutoff. Clicking that will simply bind it to one specific key. Now for others, they have a multi-function, for example, uh, if we look down at the APU, we can see it's the same switch controls APU on and APU off. Uh, others, for example, um, pedo heat, for example, you can see how it's lit for green is on, switches it to auto position. So there are ways to bind single buttons to actually have multiple functions within them. For example, the, the beacon switch, right now it's set to bright, I can set it to dim, I can set it back to bright, so on and so forth. That's kind of up to you and how you want to control the uh, inputs on the stream deck, but it gives you that ability if you if you want to condense how many key binds you have and, and limit the number of interactions you need. Uh, here's the navigation page, systems, things of that nature. As you can see, basically anything you can come up with in DCS, you can bind to the stream deck. I even have views set up as well as kneeboard controls and then the comm panel. Uh, this you can kind of simplifies what your in-game radio setup would be. And like I've already bound the rearm refuel menu and some commands to the wingman. So anyway, that's a quick uh, recap of what I've done with the Stream Deck, specifically for the F-18. Now, most of these icons are not my own. They've actually come from other members in the community. I'll try to do my best to link those in the description section as well to give credit to where it's due for those people. Hope this helps, and let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thanks.